Tell it, me how it feels to be a hundred. Well, it's it's a milestone in one's life to be a hundred, and um, it's I am the only uh, individual in my family that has reached that height. That height. Uh, in, uh, in your generation? In, gen in, gen in my generation, yes. Wow, that's really good. So I, you have siblings? I, oh, yes. Um, my wife passed away uh, eight and a half years ago. We are a Catholic family, a very strongly Catholic family. And you will not believe this. How many children do you think we have? Make a guess. Take a shot at it. Five. Nine. 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 Five boys and four girls. Five five girls and four boys. But one child passed away uh, when he was about five months. They didn't have any medical care to take care of him. So we have eight. Five girls and three boys. So tell me how was life? What did you do for a living to look after, to feed eight children? Well, how far back do you want to go? Just tell me. Um, okay. what, what did well, firstly, um, originally we came from Trinidad. My parents were Indian immigrants from India, um, but not all the children were born in Trinidad. And I was very much involved in the education process in Trinidad and the political process. But um, I don't know if you know too much about Trinidad. You know anything about Trinidad? Never yeah. been there. About it. Yeah, it, it's, it became very political, and. Um, after World War, World War II, the government was unable to provide education for the children. I had eight children, and at that time I was working, I was, I, I was the divisional manager of a large company, and I had to decide whether I'm gonna stay there or do something for my children. And my wife and I decided we will move to Canada. We moved to Canada in 1967, primarily for the purpose of the education of our children. By God's grace, we are very fortunate that uh, seven out of them, six, six out of them, the purpose we came here was for the education, and six out of them are university graduates. So you're still in Canada? Oh, yes, oh, yeah. And we'll be there for, uh, there's no, the, 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 the Economic development of the, the 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 economy in Trinidad is very bad. It's not getting any any better. So there's no possibility of ever going back there with the kind of children we have who that all have degrees in various sciences. So it's not use. It would be very unfortunate for them to to do something like that. So we're going to be in Canada for a long time. Well, well, you read the rest of our lives. <laughs> well, what, what do you do, though, to keep your mind so sharp? Well, you made a, you made a statement just now that um, uh, for an old man, I still have my marble, marbles, like I haven't lost my senses. Uh, I haven't lost my memory. Um, about 10, 12 years ago, we were in an accident. Um, a car hit us from behind, and I was in the back seat, and it shook up my body. So I'm walking with a stick. Like uh, physically, I'm I'm okay. Uh, no bones are broken, but nerves and nut, muscles and cartilage cartilages that helps you to walk has been damaged has been damaged that's why i have to walk with a stick okay, okay. but it has not expected my mentality nor my senses nor my appearance not talking to a nice looking girl like you <laughs> what's your favorite food well what is good um what is good meaning foods in the system tastes nice, but nine out of ten times there's a lot of fat, a lot of chemicals. I've avoided that because I wanted to look nice.
Yes. And so I you, always am nice guy. So you see me, I'm look at me. I haven't put on any weight for the last 25 to I eat a minimum amount. Uh, I use this philosophy. Burn what you eat. In other words, if you eat 22,000 calories, you burn that in your exercise. And I did that exercise every day. You exercise until now? Yes. Right, okay, so tell me though, um, who do you attribute your longevity to? Is it your, or what do you attribute your longevity to? Well, originally, I, I come from a very poor family. Um, and uh, I was the last child. And uh, they both, my mother and my father, passed away when I was in 16. So from 16, I'm my, I'm my own. And it became a decision of survival. I had to find means and ways to survive. So I began to think, what the hell I'm going to do in this world to survive? And I came up with the idea that the most important thing to do is to have knowledge. Knowledge of the country, knowledge of the political development, knowledge of the industry, knowledge in business, knowledge in general for survival. So in the university processes that I followed all along, I pursued that course of knowledge. Everything I did in my entire life was as a result of prayer to God and ask for guidance. In other words, I believe God guided me and my mother, who died when I was only 16. Um, she has been with me all my life. Uh, I got married to a wonderful, the prettiest girl in the world. And she passed away eight and a half years ago. But she was a great, she's also a Catholic, a very great influence in me and my development. And to be the person I am, two people contributed to that primarily to make me what I am. It's my mom and my wife.